waiting at the airport to go to Tokyo Haneda and wearing our mask since coronavirus is hitting globally. As soon as we landed, we went to the JR booth to get our JR passes. Let's head to the city to go to our hotel. First stop, Shinjuku City. First meal, Ichiran Shinjuku. There was already a line forming outside. They sell original red spicy seasoning and ramen kits to cook at home. Pay first at the machine. Then circle your preferences in terms of spiciness, seasoning, richness. We were each seated in our individual stall. Now it's time to eat up. The ramen set includes an egg with extra meat, mushroom, and seaweed. Overall, three out of five stars. Crane games, there were so many to choose from. They look easy, but they are very tricky and hard to win the prize. On to Don Quixote, a popular chain store. There are four floors with cute souvenirs and snacks at your disposal. Godzilla head. Too bad the restaurant was closed and we could not go inside or see the fiery breath. We also walked through Red Light District and ended the night at Yoshinoya. We had a hearty beef bowl. At 5.30 a.m. we couldn't sleep, so we hit the gym. There's a blood pressure cuff inside where you could check your pressure. On to our next adventure. But first, gotta grab breakfast at 7-Eleven. Check out their amazing food. We just got off the subway station and now on to Tsukichi Outer Market Street Food. All kinds of skewers. The strawberries were all so sweet and not sour. Behold the seafood skewers. Have a close look at the yellow tail. Tamago on a stick or omelet skewers. Finally, the egg pudding, which is my favorite, sold for 300 yen. An extra 500 yen to get that Wagyu sirloin steak cooked in front of you. Ready to try the potato and beef croquette. Mm. Look at that. It's pork meat dumpling time. These things are huge. Changing it up with dessert. Some matcha ice cream. It's Daifuku, Japanese mochi fruits. We had green tea and custard. Picking up some seafood. How about some grilled oyster? We also found some wasabi on the way. Heading back to Shibuya. More money for the Suica card. Hop on board. We're at Shibuya Scramble Crossing, where up to a thousand people are crossing the intersection at the same time. It is an iconic landmark in Tokyo. There's also a good view of the crossing from Starbucks. Look at the unique snacks and tumblers you can purchase. We met Hachiko, the most loyal dog that waited nine years for his owner to return. The green bus has information inside. Lunchtime at Yukatsu Motomura. The beef cutlet is the most popular item. You cook both sides of the beef cutlet on your own. Dip them in the wasabi soy sauce or horseradish and onion. Four out of five stars. Now more shopping at Don Quixote Shibuya. On our way to the VR park. More claw machines and cute stuffed animals at your disposal. Multiple photo booths for editing and enlarging your eyes to look cute. Beware, there are long lines of girls. 
One of our favorite games was the Sonic Blast Heroes, where you wear a boxing glove and punch as hard as you can, and a score will pop up. More shopping at Tokyo Hands. Grabbing a pastry to go and heading to Yoyogi Park. Snacking and resting our feet. Akihabara, the best place for capsule toys. There are a variety of selections to choose from. We were planning to get a very cute Shiba. This place is buzzing with mangas. Oh look, a story of a cute Samoid. More claw machines. And an endless supply of anime figurines. Some from my childhood anime, such as Sailor Moon. This is your place for anime, manga, and video gamers. Dinner at Karashibi Miso Ramen Kikambo. The long wait was well worth it. The broth was rich with garlic and flavors. One of my favorite places in Japan. Until next time, lots of love. Morning coffee. Bright and early at the Shinagawa station, getting some bentos for our bullet train. We got the grilled eel bento and the pork cutlet sandwich. The pork cutlet sandwich was delicious. We sweetened things up with the choco pie. Our bullet train is here. Time to get ready to hop on. There's Mount Fuji, an active volcano southwest of Tokyo. The perks with the bullet train is they allow you to eat and drink. After three hours, we are finally here in Kyoto. First destination, Fushimi Inari Shrine. Lots of people joining us today. It's known for thousands of vermilion tori gates. You can hike up for roughly 2.5 miles, about two hours, to see monkeys. But just know that you can't take pictures of them, unfortunately. The foxes are Inari's messengers. On the way down, we ran into more religious displays. To pay your respects, you can purify yourself before entering and exiting the shrine. There are also charms with various meanings. There was a food market at the bottom and we just had to get some food. Back to the train to explore Kyoto. Time for Matcha House. It's Matcha Overload, Matcha Soft Serve Ice Cream, Tiramisu and Tea. Nishiki Market for shopping and eating, although there was more eating than shopping. I used Vasara Kimono Rental. That includes the outfit, they put it on for you, the purse, and they do your hair. Now I'm ready to go explore Gion. We're at Yasaka Shrine for a photo shoot. Try walking with these for a couple of hours. Gion is an old town. We found a samurai dog. And a very cute Shiba. Time to visit the world's first tatami style Starbucks. 
a great place to immerse in the Japanese tradition if you can find a seat. It feels like an uphill battle walking around here, so we took a break to eat some pork meat dumpling. Apparently, Snoopy chocolate is a thing in Japan. We are at Kiyomizudera Temple, which has over 1,200 years of history. It is a Buddhist temple in eastern Kyoto. At the top, you will find a breathtaking view of the city. Back at Kyoto Station, looking for food. Japanese donuts! Dumplings and pork bun from 551 Horai. Grabbing some breakfast at Nakao. Warm clam udon and simmered chicken and egg. We are finally here in Osaka. There's the iconic running man. Early in the morning, Dotonbori is full of trucks getting ready for business. This place gets crazy busy at night, but it is so empty in the morning. Look at all these iconic foodie places. This place is starting to become alive. Let's go look for some food. I spy that someone has their eyes on the crab. They are almost ready. Look at that crab meat. It's taco yucky. We were one of the first in line and had to watch the entire show. Look at him put in the octopus. We're getting pretty hungry just watching him make this. I can tell it's almost ready. This is the best part. Look at how fast he moves. I can't imagine him doing that all day, every day. Voila, this is the finished product. Next on the list, gyoza. We decided to not get the regular gyoza, but actually the dumplings of flame. It's now time for Okonomiyaki, a Japanese savory pancake topped with Japanese mayonnaise. And some seasoning. And lastly, the Bonita Flakes. We're here at the Kiramon Market. Look at all the nigiri. One order of beef nigiri, please. White strawberries are a thing in Japan. This strawberry was $10 for one. It's time for boba. We got our favorite brown sugar tapioca. We found the land of pinball machines and played a few games before heading out. We grabbed a custardy cheese tart before dinner. We had a fancy dinner at Matsusakagu Yakiniku. We tried six different parts of the Matsusaka beef. Our favorite was the sirloin steak. It was super juicy and fatty. 
This was a worthy experience that needed a reservation ahead of time, and we highly recommend it. I'm so glad they have the labels in English. We're here in Ichiran Don Tonbori at 6.52 a.m. and there is no one here but us. That was a very hearty breakfast. On to another adventure. We are now headed to Osaka Castle, one of Japan's famous landmarks. Walking along the castle grounds is entirely free. Take a look at the impressive stone wall and moats. It's 9.06 a.m. and we're finally at the Osaka Castle. Check out the view from up top. You can see Osaka. It's the Pokemon Center. Time to go eat at the Pokemon Cafe. Apparently, you need a reservation ahead of time. Good thing we came right at opening time and they were able to accommodate us. One grape smoothie, please. Snorlax and Pikachu. We are at Rikuro's Cheesecake. So light and fluffy and jiggly. I have checked into Capsule Hotel Astil Don Tonburi. They have everything here for you, including shampoo, face wash, hairbrush, hair dryer, and look at the capsule size bedroom hall. It's pretty cramped in here. You can see that there is a remote control for the TV and you can adjust the fan along with the lights. There's a plug for you to charge and free Wi-Fi available in this tiny space. And they do have an available handbag where you can store things to go in and out of your room. And here's a closer look at the remote control and the lights. So let's see if we can turn off the lights and make sure it works. So turning off room light lamp back on. Well, I guess it works. Heading back to Danton Bori for more food. Getting some Takumi Takoyaki. Just can't get over these octopus balls. We stopped by Kushikatsu Daruma, aka Angry Man. It's pretty much a Japanese sweet bun filled with ice cream inside. And here it is, the melon pan. Potato mozzarella hot dog, anyone? There's a line for sushi. This is our first conveyor belt sushi restaurant in Osaka. There are people taking a tour of Osaka on a boat and also the famous Osaka Ferris wheel. We love the lights at night. For breakfast, we went to Hanama Ruken for some ramen and a combination of rice with gyoza. Now back on the bullet train for a two and a half hour ride from Osaka to Hakone. We are here in Hakone. It is known for its hot spring and leisure city. Be prepared for natural beauty. Too bad it's not cherry blossom season. It's Valentine's Day and we are checking in to Yoshiki Ryokan. We reserved their Japanese style room about three months in advance. 
They have a beautiful outdoor garden where you can take pictures in your yukata. When we went, it was about to rain, so we were trying to hide from bugs. We had a fancy 12 course meal at the onsen. Their presentation was on point. The food kept coming and we were quite full at the end. They did not have an English menu, so for the most part we were not sure what we were eating. They have two private baths that are first come first serve. Once you have finished dinner, they made your bed for you. The next morning, we have another six course meal with a nice view. We are here in Ginza, celebrating someone's birthday with the cheesecake, street food, Tagoshi Ginza, boneless thai karage, taiyaki with chocolate, more gyoza, it's curry pan, very delicious. Camembert soft cream ice cream. This is the best thing ever. It's xia long bao, super juicy and with hot liquid inside. Last meal in Japan. You must stock up on these cookies. Our one week trip is over. Goodbye Japan. <laughs>